Hello Unreal users, Alex here, your Unreal Guide, and today I want to show you how we can make those cool raindrops interact with our displacement mega scans. As you can see here, it's all fully interactive here. We get uh, we get it's dripping, we get the little splashes, it's also uh, working with the snow, light snow can see it's all getting in those little spots and it's also working with the blizzard so we have a lot of cool presets here with this uh, ultra dynamic sky and um, there is a way to connect this plugin in order to work with mega scans and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this tutorial so if it's something that you guys interested in exploring stay tuned and follow up okay so I'm gonna close this and open a fresh Unreal Engine file and in this Unreal Engine file we're actually going to uh, if you guys not familiar with this awesome ultra dynamic sky plugin dynamic sky we'll be able to find it here as you can see it's got night amazing sunsets and also this cool Aurora okay now uh, I'm going to go back to my project here click next we're gonna start up with the first person and everything by default so I'm going to name this ultra sky click create and while this thing being launched I'm gonna go and create a surface that we're gonna use so I'm gonna open my 3ds max make a plane here with 100 and 100 sides with 19 and 19 uh, segments and also we need to move this to the side the effect pivots so we want the pivot point to be aligned to the left corner that's how Unreal Engine likes it and now we're gonna zero that out zero zero so zero zero and the left corner our pivot XYZ now I'm going to click on export And I'm gonna export that as FBX. Let's call it surface. Select here FBX. Click OK. And uh, now that we've opened our first person, you know that I like to modify that template and just remove the hands, and you know we can walk if we click play. Wow, it's so loud the sound. But that's the template, okay? so uh, I'm gonna click on my level where is my new level let's create fresh new level and here let's do the separation 100 and let's bring in our surface import as it is please sure export smoothing groups okay I'll do it next time all right so we got our surface and we've got our snapping so you can see it's super easy to align those and if I click alt I can duplicate as much as I want all right now make sure displacement is on enable displacement this is the first thing that we gotta do when we're launching our project before we start to import anything in it and let's do also uh, in project settings here let's do the Python I'm actually following floor blur uh, tutorials here he did that enable remote execution for Python now um, let's bring our displacement map so I'm gonna go into my bridge and uh, it's uh, surfaces and surfaces 
let's see people rocks let's see if we got some something that looks cool this one I already downloaded that so uh, this people ground let's click on export and get it into our scene right there it's been imported now double click on that material and here you can find displacement amount if you don't activate this you won't be able to get that trigger so make sure you do activate your displacement right at the beginning now uh, let's just drag and drop it on our surface and let's zoom in a little bit now let's put some amount for displacement I think it's good okay now we are ready to bring our uh, ultra dynamic sky system so let's go to our epic games launcher and uh, in our search here ultra dynamic sky add to the project ultra dynamic sky click add within seconds it's been added now we can find it right here so double click go into blueprints and we have here two blueprints that we're going to work with one called ultra dynamic sky and one called ultra dynamic weather so one is for lighting there shall be light and there shall be rain <laughs> okay now as you can see here uh it's got a bunch of those cool presets of rain and snow but none of that stuff is working with my displacement so how do we connect that mega scans textures the displacement actually into to the, our uh, ultra dynamic sky okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to locate our texture this people and scroll down here to the parent so this material is the father of all children all materials that come out in mega scans this is their parent so apparently everything we do here will affect all other materials of mega scans okay so here I'm gonna do a little bit a bit more organized addition here so we'll see what we're actually doing just double click in order to create those and let's put it a little to the side in order for us to make it work now first we need to add those two plugins one called snow and one called wet okay and we're gonna run them base to base roughness to roughness normal to normal okay so far so good now what we need to do is we need to run those albedo so those are the base materials to the adjustments through this through those two plugins so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click control I'm gonna pull it out from here and I'm gonna put it into the base so the albedo from here and I'm gonna put it into that albedo okay, let me open a big screen okay next one is gonna be uh, metallic we're gonna leave it as it is next one is roughness so roughness exit here um, next one is normal so let's get this tangent normal click control and put it in the normal and the normal exit goes back to tangent normals all right so we've connected that thing and the last thing is 
our displacement so we're gonna take our main displacement which is actually this one and this is it goes all the way here to the red so I'm gonna pull one from the red uh, let me pull this down here so we're gonna pull it from the red into the height so height here height here and of course our main height is already whoop, connected to the R displacement okay so now um, last thing in this script we need to add the drops so here and apply dropping effects and apply puddles we're gonna do static ball and it's gonna be true true in a value and apply dropping and apply puddles and that's it that's pretty much it it's very easy stuff okay click save you see the materials been compiled it's been it's working to adjust it to the whatever uh, new scripts it's gonna work with such as uh, our water and clouds uh, I mean the snow and all of that stuff alright so it's already working okay we got those presets here snow light snow uh, and um, thunderstorm okay so now if you take a look at that we get the water the puddles but we don't get the splashes so in order to get the splashes we gotta make uh, the surface let's make it uh, so it be uh, collidable so we gotta add collision I'm just gonna duplicate a few of those more with the, sh with the alt that, will, that way we'll have a little bit more surface to look at okay so I think now it's looking a little better and uh, double click I mean right click go to the asset uh, double click this asset and inside let's do add simplified box collision boom we got the collision now click save close that and voila we're getting our nice water splashes working with our displacement okay so if you guys like this tutorial I'm putting more of that stuff I'm opening actually a new channel where I'm gonna put more Unreal Engine tutorials and free scenes and some demos that if you're an Unreal Engine enthusiast or you just like learning this Unreal Engine stuff make sure to subscribe to that new channel that is going to be dedicated only for Unreal Engine this is going to be more V-Ray and architectural visualization. So stay tuned for more architectural stuff. I'm going to do some cool update on the exterior shot and V-Ray renders. And uh, subscribe to the new channel because more stuff is coming out your way. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Alex, your V-Ray guy. Talk soon. Ciao.